baby, when that that moment happened, you knew what time it was. You knew. You were like, yo, me as a teenager, I was like. And then, oh, oh, by the way, this all happened on when I was when I was 14. Toonami on Cartoon Network, that's when I got to know Dragon Ball Z. And the Frieza saga, when that happened, when Goku first turned Super Saiyan. Oh my god. So at the age of 68, um, Akira Toriyama, who is famously known for being one of the primary animators and creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super, has passed away yesterday. Um, this was a massive, massive blow to the animation community. Uh, if anybody knows, figures like Goku is just about as famous as Mickey Mouse. Um, you weren't a big watcher of Dragon Ball Z, but you were a watcher of some anime that was influenced by it, correct, Valerie? Yes, and actually, uh, I have watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the first time I ever watched it was Dragon Ball Z Abridged. So I've seen okay. the whole first Dragon Ball Z like that, and then uh, my friend ended up showing me uh, at a party. He was like, look, you know, you gotta start watching this, look at this, and he showed me the, um, fight between goku and jiren i think is his name uh dragon, oh, that's super. dragon ball super yeah, yeah that that was cool i was like i just looked at him i was like do they just keep fighting he's like yeah it's just another level it's another level and i was like i i thought it was gonna end so long ago but no it's 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 impressive artwork i see why people really like this it's a very i think is uh especially like dragon ball very um aesthetic and very nostalgic artwork and i i think it's beautiful yeah and I just want people to realize how how influential Dragon Ball Z, especially, was it how much of an impact it had on the black community. Because like the black community embraced this, this show like nobody's business. And when you look at look look at this. Okay, that is a <laughs> baby. This is, is I like that. It it is. Yeah, I like but, the I like the onesie. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, of course. It it is awesome. So one of my things is is and and you can actually draw um, some theory from it because when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, Frieza was a capitalist. He was pure and simple a capitalist. And when you look at how the, you know, Frieza and his empire, you know, basically bought and sold planets and used the Saiyan race, you know, now you start to think about Black people, how they were essentially enslaved by Frieza through fear. So it really touched a, a lot with us Black folks. Um, and, of course, he was the animator for Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest. And so he did a lot in regards to that as well. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure that uh, how much time you, you got left. I got three minutes. I will say I didn't know that that's what Dragon Ball Z was really about since I've only watched the abridged. So I'm going to be watching Dragon Ball Z and actually giving, yeah. giving it a go. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to skip the filler episodes, then go with Dragon Ball Z Kai. But, cool. um, but yeah, so I would say that. But um, I'm going to continue this segment. But if you can tell people, like, what you got coming up and where can they find you? Um, where you can find me is on Twitter. It's CWValerie underscore. Uh, stands for Chairwoman Valerie. I am also on TikTok under Maoist Valerie. I am going to be doing more videos again and really getting back out there on TikTok. I'm going to continue to do organizing in my area. Um, and I, yeah, I'm just going to try to build a community and actually try to, you know, practice what I preach. Um, you never really know what you can accomplish unless you do it. So um, trying to give some people hope, I guess. Yeah. I need it. I, I, I need hope. <laughs> I really need hope. Some days I could be really doober, but 
um, yeah, that's what I got going on. And I would love to be on again sometime in the future if you'd have me. Mm -hmm, definitely. So I put Valerie's uh, TikTok um, link also in the chat as well. So you guys can go ahead and give Valerie a follow. Valerie, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for, you know, uh, blessing me with your presence on my little channel. It is so much appreciated. No, thank you for having me. This was great. Uh, you're so much fun to talk to. And we talked about some important things, I think, in my opinion. Uh, it was needed. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for Definitely. having me on. Thank you so much. I will see you in the interwebs, comrade. See you there. Bye-bye. All, right. All right. So I just want to continue on this as well. When it comes to... When it comes to Dragon Ball Z, like... Akira Toriyama just influenced the Black community like nobody's business. I just want to share this with you guys, too. This is fun. I love it, man. Look, those of us who, okay, so one of my biggest things that I loved, right, was, okay, so if you guys, if you guys ever watched Dragon Ball Z, like, what was your favorite arc? Mine, personally, was the Majin Buu arc, um, and that's when uh vegeta actually sacrificed his life right uh that was a major character arc for someone like vegeta uh this also introduced us to the fusions right you had uh go tanks you had uh vegito um of course, Gogeta was in Fusion Reborn, which oh, my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie. But of course, I, I was talking to my boyfriend, and he was saying how his favorite arc was the Cell, the Cell Games. Cell Games was for him, and that arc was massive because that's what it ushered Gohan into being like the Gohan was him. Right, and so it was. It was crazy. Uh, let me share. Let me share some other pieces as well, um, because there's some stuff that uh, Akira Toriyama was highly influential over. You know, the last I would say, especially thirty years. That's how big he has been um let me see okay so i'm going to share a tweet that i put out so you guys can see this as well this is how big akira toriyama is for people who don't know even the chinese government is reacting to akira toriyama's passing that's how big this is. He created one of the most recognizable characters in animation. Goku is as iconic as Mickey Mouse. And then also I want to share this. Here's Akira Toriyama with his buddy, Jackie Chan. Like, Akira Toriyama was him. Like, what? Okay, Vicious E says, favorite, favorite was Cell Saga. His first timeline was dark. The androids were the were as bad as the idea. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The androids, Android sixteen and seventeen. 
Mm. Wow. I'm sorry, 17 and 18. And in the depth of 16, that sent Gohan over the edge. And that's how he became an Ascendant Saiyan or a Super Saiyan 2. Um, that one was just like, what? Um, and then I want to share this as well. For those of you who are anime fans, this, this is, he's one of the reasons why anime is as big as it is now. This tweet says, without Toriyama, we don't get all of these. And so you don't get Naruto, you don't get Bleach, you don't get Yu Yu Hakusho, you don't get Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't get any of these people. You do not get none of them without Akira Toriyama. Because he influenced that many people. Some of the most famous animes on Earth were influenced by Akira Toriyama. That's why, I'm going to tell you right now, that's why everybody is calling him sensei. Because he taught. He taught people, right? And Akira Toriyama was only 68 when he died. So, also, let me share this as well. Let me see. Because I have, uh, I wanted to share something funny. I don't think I'm going to get a copyright claim for this. I hope not. I know it's, you know, they say when in doubt, don't. It's just funny to me because uh, Stephen A. said this. So, so let me share this with Stephen A. said. Because you can tell Stephen A. did not watch Dragon Ball Z. This is, this is hilarious. Stephen A. says this. At EBSC 93. Right, who you taking in a one versus one, Goku or Vegeta from Dragon? Hold up! <laughs> Vegeta? Vegeta? Steven? 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 Bruh. At least learn how to pronounce the name. It's Vegeta. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad they didn't put Kakarot in there. Oh my God. Can you imagine him trying to pronounce Kakarot? Dragon Ball. First of all, my condolences. I saw the news alerts that this individual has passed away. Um, so the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, some of the most influential and best-selling Japanese comics of all time. That is the person that has died at the age of 68. Akira Toriyama suffered an acute subdural hematoma, a type of bleeding near the brain, they say. This is what word came out from his studio this Friday. So my condolences out to him and the best wishes to his family and loved ones. Uh, obviously, hope God blesses his soul and he's up in a higher place. Which... I, I have to give, you know, some props to Stephen A for giving him, you know, a condolences. That's cool. Okay. And you can pronounce Toriyama. But you can pronounce Vegeta? <laughs> I don't mean to I don't mean to pick on him. You know, I'm just busting his chops, but it's just kind of funny, you know. It's 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 kind of funny and it's like Come on now, you know. Come on, Steven. I know you can do better than that. <laughs> In terms of who I'm taking, Goku or Vegeta from... Oh, he said it again! He said it again. Oh, Somebody, look, somebody call their uncle. Somebody call their uncle. 
Vegeta. Oh man, Vegeta. Oh well. Nobody's perfect though. But um, let me also share this as well. Um. Oh boy. I want to share a couple of things. Um, oh my gosh, this scene right here, this scene right here, just, I'm only just going to play a few seconds, but those of y'all who know, you know. Boy, I can't do that. I won't watch anymore. I feel it slipping. And I won't watch this anymore. Oh, baby, when that that moment happened, you knew what time it was. You knew. You were like, yo, me as a teenager, I was like. And then, oh, oh, by the way, this all happened on when I was when I was 14. Toonami on Cartoon Network, that's when I got to know Dragon Ball Z. And the Frieza saga, when that happened, when Goku first turned Super Saiyan. Oh, my God. And by the way, this is back in the day where we still had to watch it on VHS tapes. One of my homeboys got the Frieza saga on VHS uncensored. That's important. Because the censored version was played on Toonami. But if you got the VHS tapes, you got the uncensored version. Right? So you got the part where Frieza with one of his horns and Krillin and ha ha, ride him cowboy. Y'all know. Those of you know, you know. And then, because I got to be careful on YouTube, but that part. And then when Frieza basically took out Krillin after Goku put the spirit bomb on him and then. He lost because he incapacitated. He incapacitated. Um, gosh, I'm forgetting names. Uh, Piccolo. Piccolo wasn't actually dead, dead, but you know, took him out, and then he destroyed Krillin, which is Goku's best friend. Next thing you know, he went off, and then he became Super Saiyan for the first time. That was whew, right. Um, and then another one, another moment was when Vegeta sacrificed his life and he said he was doing it for Boma and for Trunks. And then he said, yes, even for you, Kakarot. And one of my biggest moments that actually really touched me was during the Boo Saga when they were on the planet of the Kais. And then Vegeta actually confessed and said, Kakarot, you are the best. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I was just like, oh my gosh, Vegeta actually admitted that Goku was the best. I'm telling you, man, Akira Toriyama was massive. And so his passing was just a tragedy, um, an unexpected one because he was still doing projects for Dragon Ball. I think he his latest one was Dragon Ball Dima. Um, his latest movie, Dragon Ball movie, was Dragon Ball Super Superhero. He was also overseeing Dragon Ball Super, which brought in, you know, the you know, it, it started with Battle of Gods, then Resurrection F, um, then Dragon Ball Super Broly, and then now Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Uh, so now... You know, it, it's just, that's my childhood, man. Especially, you know, it, it came around when I was a teenager, man. 
thank you so very much for watching my channel and I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfond. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much, and you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. More head kisses, and have a beautiful day.